What's going on? It's your boy Sermon at Sermon's Domain on Twitter. Hip hop groups form, and just as quick as they form, they separate. It's just the circle of life in the hip hop game. So today I wanted to open up a discussion and ask the question to you guys as well as answer it myself. Which hip hop group would you love to see reunited? Now there is a lot of choices. I went to Google to see the list of hip hop groups and there are a ton of them and some you're like damn they're still going mob deep for instance still making music after you know 20 plus years so i wanted to talk about ones that have separated the first one on my list is nwa now naturally easy e wouldn't be a part of it but i was hoping for some kind of reunion in the form of like music obviously we see uh, groups reunite on stage quite often, and we saw NWA do that. Ice Cube had Trey, he had MC Ren, he had DJ Yella um, at one of his uh, festival shows. So we've seen them reunite, but we haven't seen them musically reunite. The closest we got was Dr. Dre and Ice Cube on uh, Dre's Compton album, but I was expecting something around the time of Straight Outta Compton, the movie, just because it seemed like the perfect timing. Even maybe finding like some kind of an unreleased Easy E verse, because there has to be at least one out there somewhere sitting in the vault that has no home. Drake could have easily got that uh, produced around it and brought in other members. It would have been cool to see, but I, I understand why they didn't do it. Um, I remember when they were going to do another NWA album and have Snoop Dogg in the place of Easy E, and they only put out that one record, Chin Check. So. I like that record actually you know when you think about it that record was really good I think Snoop out of everybody in hip-hop would be like the most fitting for NWA not to not to take away from you know Easy e but if you had to have a new member included Snoop is definitely the person so I was I was hoping man that would have came to fruition um, but it didn't um, so I'm, I still have hope though. At some point, maybe we'll see an NWA reunion song on an Ice Cube album, whatever Dre's working on, on MC Ren's album. I don't know. Maybe we'll see one. If Next on my list is Outkast. There's rumors that Outkast might be reuniting for an actual album. Gucci Mane said that he's working on a feature for them and then they reunited at one music fest just the other day with the whole dungeon family so that was a, a big moment um, as far as if it's actually going to happen who knows but I think it should happen at some point just one final outcast album if that because the way you, the way I look at it is this in their times of being solo artists I think Big Boy and Andre 3000 have only gotten a lot better. I think Big Boy has experimented a lot, you know, with Big Grams, and then you got his two solo albums. He's done a lot of things that he wasn't doing with Outkast. So I think that's kind of expanded his uh, horizon, as well as made him a uh, a stronger lyricist, too. Like, he's good at words, and he, he doesn't get as much credit as Andre does, but he, he's really good with what he does. So... On to Andre. I think Andre, even though he doesn't put out any like solo material on his own, I think the features kind of show this quality over quantity. Like his words have meaning. He doesn't sit here and drop a verse that has, uh, you know, lines that don't mean anything, that don't serve no purpose. So I think Andre only got better as an artist by uh, being stingy with what he releases. So I think you combine the two, you can join them together, and there's got to be some way they can come up with some kind of cool concept. Um, and I would love to see that. So Outkast is definitely on my list. Going back to the West Coast with Ice Cube, you got West Side Connection, Ice Cube, Dub C, and Mac 10. They only put out two albums. Terrorist Threats, to me, might be one of the best West Coast group albums I've ever listened to. It's definitely top five. I think that album, to me, is near classic, but there's just a, a couple songs on there that I just don't really care for, and that's why I can't deem it a, a full-on classic. But it's, it's there. It's close to there, and the chemistry between them was just really good. Um, I think it's because they grew up in similar environments around California and you know they all represented gangsta hip-hop gangsta rap so 
I would love to see them reunite and do something because I know in the past Cube and Mac Ten have had issues, and I don't. I to this day I don't think they've really resolved them. You still see Cube and Dub C uh, work together. Uh, Dub C is often Cube's hype man in many different situations, so it would be cool to see them reunite, do something. Um, the last one on my list is the clips and you have to include clips because they it felt like they kind of left in their prime you know everybody says hell hath no fury is their best album but uh till the casket drops doesn't get enough credit um either so i think clips kind of walked away separated when they were still musically in their prime like they hadn't fallen off at all so I want to know, I want to see like what they would sound like today because I guess in retrospect it it was probably for the best that they separated because it allowed Pusha T to go on to good music and to further be appreciated as a, as his own artist and you know really climb the ladders of like the top lyricists in the game and him linking with Kanye allowed him to make a lot of great connections and have a lot of uh a memorable material in his catalog now and then malice malice has kind of you know been he's put out music but he doesn't get that same recognition as like a push t so i think joining together would be great but at the same time i do understand if there's never another clips album malice doesn't rap like he used to he's not going to do that but I feel like there's got to be some kind of middle ground where Pusha T and Malik can come together and come up with some kind of a concept that is fitting for both of their ideologies. I don't I don't see Pusha like abandoning his his powder white raps in favor of doing another clips album and I know Malice is really stuck on you know uh making more of like the the retrospective um you know music that he's been making so I think there's some middle ground that they can explore, some kind of a concept. And that is the the last group on my list that I would love to see reunite. And these are just four. I'm sure if I did more research, um, there's definitely others that I could talk about and discuss. But those are my four. So now I want to open up the floor to you guys viewing at home. Um, let me know which hip hop groups you'd love to see reunite. And then like the video, subscribe to the channel. If you're not already, share the video. Follow me on Twitter at Sermons Domain. And as always, thank you for your time. I appreciate you for watching. And until next time, peace.